What is going on guys? It's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and in today's video we're going to talk about how to update your Madden 24 SDK. Basically that means hey how do I get my mods working again after there's been a patch? So one thing about Madden is every time you know EA releases a title update uh, kind of breaks all of our modding capabilities. So in today's video uh, we're going to go through you know how to get everything back uh, going. Uh, I was about to make a modding showcase logged in. Oh crap crap can't use my mod so we got to get this fixed so i said let me make a video because i know a lot of people have questions i will go ahead and run through the video if you guys like the, the video like the video subscribe uh, for more if you don't know how to install madden 24 mods at all uh, i made a, a madden uh 24 modding tutorial i'll make sure that's linked um also some of you guys like ask like super specific questions there that i don't know how to answer so make sure you guys are in the madden modding community discord there's a troubleshooting section go ask those guys for help if you run into issues but without further ado guys let's go ahead let's get our Madden games running again after the patch. So the first thing that we want to do uh, when we are trying to get this uh, SDK updated is we're going to go ahead and open Madden Spark. So I got a little shortcut here. Let's go ahead and get that open. We'll give that a second. As soon as this pops up, what you want to do is you kind of want to, you know, drag to where you can see it. Uh, and all you're going to do is press restore Madden 24. Press that. And what that's going to do is that's going to basically, hey, Put your game back to the base game, put everything back to normal, how it should be. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead. I, I am on uh, EA Play. I don't have Madden on Steam. Some people got on Steam. I got on EA. So, you know, open whatever, you know, you're using. Um, and we'll give that a second to load up, connect into the EA app. Uh, but basically what you want to do. Oh, I actually have an update for the app as well. Not only just the game. So I will go ahead and do that real quick and then cut. All right, so once your uh, actual launcher is updated, obviously, if you're on scene, you probably don't have to do that. Uh, we're going to go over to Madden 24, and you're going to notice that uh, it says update required under Madden. So I'm just going to press this little button, press that, um, hit continue, all that good stuff, and you want to start the download. Um, this one looks like it's about two gigs. I got pretty fast internet, so yeah, it doesn't even look like we're going to have to cut. Uh, maybe we will. It's, now it says three gigs um don't all good i'm not gonna make y'all sit here and watch my my download i will you know speed this up real quick and once this download is is done we'll come right back to it all right guys now listen once that patch is done downloading you'll get a little message right here it says update complete what you guys want to do is you want to go back over to madden spark and press activate mods give that a second it'll give you a little you know a little you know notification that it's it's activating and then it'll say waiting for the user to launch mad now this is really important guys because you know we usually launch it through uh the frosty mod manager we're not going to do it this time after we've activated mods in madden spark you're actually going to go right into the ea application and we're going to launch it uh right through here so let's give that a second to launch again while your mods are activated and give that a second for the game to open up and we should see that pop up here in just a second give it some time i really just want it to get to the main menu now i think about it, i don't even actually have my controller uh plugged in but that's okay we don't we don't actually need that so what i'm gonna do now because this is really all that you need and give me a second i'm actually going to mute the game audio just so that that's not playing in the background so now that we've got the game launched and we've got the modding activated the next thing that we're going to do is we want to open up our frosty mod manager this is the program that we usually use to launch all of our mods so once you launch that uh, you're going to select madden 24 here Press select and give that a second and you'll get a little pop up that says the SDK profile for Madden is out of date. Please launch the game via origin. Click next and begin the process of updating the SDK. So with that being said, I will press next and it's going to go through a process. Now, the discord says this process can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes uh i don't know what that depends on i don't know if it's your internet i don't know if it's your ssd uh it's usually pretty quick here for me but uh as you can see i think it's going fast but i don't really know so uh <laughs> I, I i don't want to just uh, again make you guys just sit here but the only thing i want to take away guys is um 
if this process does take a really long time for you, uh, that's completely normal. Obviously, you're supposed to be doing this while the game is open. Just give it that time uh, to, you know, actually uh, generate the new SDK. Um, while that's doing that, and I will fast forward if we do need to, but the one thing I really wanted to say uh, during this process is after we get everything updated and we get our mods running again, this is the most important part of this video, guys. Some of the mods still will not work. Some mods need an update from the mod author, from the mod creator. The only thing that I ask is please do not harass modders in the Discord demanding updates, things of that nature. These guys are doing a bunch of hard work for free and stuff like that. Uh, they will update their mods when and if they have the time. So that's all I ask, guys. Please just make sure you're being respectful to the modders as they, you know, these patches come out out of nowhere. We got no idea what people got going on uh, in their personal lives. A couple of the big mods that I know a lot of people use, like I saw Sabo's gameplay beta. If you're in that beta, he already updated that. So some of these guys are really quick. Some of these guys got other stuff going on. So be patient patient um you know what i mean and these guys will you know great community they'll make sure we get back in the game so this is taking a little bit i will go ahead and fast forward while it you know is doing this thing and we'll be back once it finishes up all right guys and that's done so hey that was not that long at all um so it took like four or so minutes so not bad not bad uh once uh you get this uh message say sdk is uh successfully updated press finish uh, and the frosty editor will restart. We're not done just yet. It might actually just close. So if it doesn't open back up, I don't think it's going to open back up. I'm going to manually uh, press it and open back up. So let's do the same exact thing. Uh, open it up, select Madden. And the next thing that it's going to do uh, is it's going to update the cache. And this is another process. You just select Madden, press select. Um, and it will say loading data, doing all this good stuff. This is another pro process uh, that they, their marketing in the Discord could potentially take five to ten minutes. So give that a second. Um, I'll fast forward through it. Um, and let's, you know, give this its time to finish what it's doing. All right, guys, and we are back. Uh, that took a little bit, maybe about 10, 15 or so minutes. And as you can see, uh, my uh, Frosty editor, my Madden um uh, the Frosty Mod Manager for Madden uh, is is done, so I can now you know go back to you know using all my mods and you know all that good stuff the same way. Um, again, notice that uh, some of these mods will have a little icon that has a little yellow notification here, and it'll say that they're out of date. Uh, some mods you you're still going to be able to use if they're out of date. It's so a lot of time like you know texture mods, things of that nature. But other some of the utility mods, the gameplay mods, the camera mods, things of that nature. Sometimes they have to be updated. So. Uh, it go. It depends by each mod whether or not it'll have to be updated. So at this point, I think all you really need to do is X out of this, and we're gonna X out of Madden as well, and we'll get right back to our main menu. So let's give that a second, and we'll just go ahead and launch uh, Madden normally like we normally do. So let's open our mod manager here. We'll give that a second, and obviously this is just your normal launch, so it won't take uh, as long. Is loading all my mods. Um, I just want to come over and uncheck some stuff. Don't want to load anything that needs to be updated. I know I need an update for a lot of this stuff. So I'll take that off and let's put this on. So this way we'll know as soon as it, it launches. And so, yeah, after this, uh, once you get back to your normal screen, again, you're going to press activate your mods. Give that a second. And now it'll say waiting for user to launch Madden. Now you're ready to play the game. You're going to launch uh, through your mod manager now. You're not going to launch uh, through EA again. You're going to launch your mods like you always do through the mod manager. Give that a second to start up. Give me a little message here. Just hit OK. It says applying mods. Give Madden a second to load up. Get a message that says modding activated. Madden pops up. or is taking his time popping up, but that's okay. And there we go. You see Anthony Edwards, uh, sorry, not Anthony Edwards, uh, <laughs> Anthony Richardson uh, popping up. So that's how we know uh, our mods and all of our mods are loaded up. So, all right, guys, we're going to leave it there. Uh, again, if you guys got any questions throughout this process, let me know. It's your boy, Shady Mike Gaming. I'm signing out. Catch y'all in the next one. Keep watching the channel for more. Peace. Threes.